You see, that, that statement that you referred to and asked Vali about, uh, with Madiba saying, Mr. De Klerk is a man of integrity. With everything he did, he demonstrated foresight. Uh, you need to go back into Codessa, Codessa 1, where Madiba gets up and he says, uh, Mr. De Klerk, I used to describe you as a man of integrity. And Madiba had done so on a number of occasions. Now to break, he was breaking because he had reason to break. And, and these things were churning through his mind all the way through. Uh, in the same way as Bulalani talks about us arriving here on the Saturday evening, Madiba in his pajamas, uh, we, we're very excited. Blackie Swat was looking after Madiba in the house here. And uh, 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 the one thing we want to do is celebrate. And uh, Madiba says, uh, uh, Blackie, give these boys a drink. But Madiba himself was cool, calm, and collected and had churned out in his mind exactly what was going to happen the following day. And that kind of leadership is so profound. Uh, even the day after his release, and something that Salim Mazza must take responsibility for, four o'clock in the morning, Madiba calls me at home and he says, Trevor, when my car was packed up yesterday, where did you put my weights? I need to exercise now. <laughs> Any, anybody else would kind of be running around the park uh, celebrating something. Madiba needed the discipline in his life so that he could exercise that discipline and he couldn't give up on it. The discipline was not something imposed by the prison authorities. It was a discipline that he internalized and allowed him to lead. And that same discipline is what you've seen at a number of key points. Look at the negotiations, Sipiso. Uh, it's not something we give a lot of attention to. Um, when you ask whether there was a sellout, Go back and look at the points, I, I refer to Codesso 1, but look at the point of complete breakdown after the Boipatong massacre. Uh, the African National Congress, led by Madiba, was entirely in control of that process. And if you ask about uh, uh, whether there was a sellout, uh, I want to echo what, what Valley was saying. Look at the Constitution. Read the preamble to the Constitution. Read all of the Constitution. Understand the Bill of Rights and recognize how far that was from what the apartheid regime represented at any point in its history. And then ask what we've done with that freedom. Because if we don't take an approach to democracy and freedom that calls for ongoing renewal, we keep finding somebody else to blame. We extricate ourselves from responsibility, and that is a challenge. Mm.